So here's my new rotor. I just wanted to make sure, I wanted to test two things. One, that it would actually work. And then two, that this coil is still good for something. So I could rig something up here. I mean, this coil is gonna be used for the maglev, but it has a stainless steel uh, shaft. And right now I'm just letting it run on top of the plastic, as you can see. And I don't know if you can see over in the right-hand corner, there's the load. It's running at 12 volts, bouncing around like crazy because there's no bearings or anything. It's just running in the magnetic field. It's kind of crazy. Let me turn it off. So this is the rotor I just built with the two larger barb magnets. I tried I tried doing something with this guy here. Hold on a second. Let me fix the camera angle here. There we go. I tried doing something with this. It just it just, it just doesn't work the way it is here. You know, I tried to bend it to fit it around. It's just not going to work. So I need to start building new coils. Here is, let me get rid of this thing really quick and just slide it over here. Got to be careful with these larger magnets. Here's my big magnet. I mean, the, the big rotor. I put a black sheet around it. It's really nice. Anyway. Um, like I showed you earlier with the, um, the 3D printer, I, I don't know if I should just wait and 3D print some holders for this because I want to, this particular one I want to do with ring magnets on the ends. So I've got these guys, whoa, I've got these guys here, which are very strong. But they're ring magnets. I've got two different sizes. And I want to put them on the... I want to put one on each end on a housing with the little magnet here, of course. Both of them facing south. Um, I don't know if this is going to be big enough. I have another on order. I may try it with the thinner one first. Because I think this thicker one might be a little bit too much because I'm going to use these guys the same ones that I've used let me stick that there the same one that I've used for these oh, 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 oh. that's a disaster the same one that I use for these and so you know I'm not yeah yeah it would be something like that but it, I I think using the ring magnets, it would capture it much better than the way I had it before. And I think if I remember correctly, looking at Sky's setup, he uses ring magnets. I'm not even sure if these are the same ones. No, these aren't the same ones that I used for that. Huh. Interesting. I wonder if I even have any of those left. Uh, they'll work. They'll work. I don't know. Huh. Anyway. Yeah, so I'm going to put the little ones here. And then try um, some ring magnets to capture it. But that means I've got to build an infrastructure for it. And, oh, I'm so tired of messing with this acrylic. But I know there's it's going to be a huge learning curve to do the 3D printing. But I guess no time than the present, right? So I've been wanting to try this pancake coil on different setups. Again, um, hot wiring the positive and negative of the bifiler cores. I gotta be careful, I gotta turn this down. That's only on 12 volts and it is flying. And this is using the JL94. It's still flying. 
And of course I have the load over there. Let me show you really quick. The load is the lights. But yeah. What, and it's funny because I can start it up on 12 volts and it will it'll run slowly but if I kick it off it connects and it starts to fly and this is on 10 volts this is on 7 volts and it's not slowing down well, it's slowing down now a little bit. Let me turn it back up. Yeah, it's funny. When I pull it back like this, I get a vibration. But when I push it really close to the the um, hollow part of the coil, it smooths right out and just flies. Pull it back, which I don't understand. Oh, actually, yeah, this is speeding it up a lot. So I go closer, slows it down, I come back. And so the reason why I've been messing around with this, I'm trying to see if this coil, this, uh, let me turn it off, if this square coil that I made that doesn't work very well with the JL94 circuit, which was the sole reason why I made it and why I had to scrap the other coil. I wanted to see if this coil would be any... Michael? Oh. Sorry about that. My wife came to ask me what time we wanted to eat. I wanted to see if this coil would be any good other than using... Yeah, and so I'm... You know, I'm, uh, I, I, I think I'm going to just scrap it and just start over and build a better coil. I'm finding out that the whole secret is in the coils. The rotors are great, but the coils do the work. And so when you get a good coil like this pancake coil that Sky made, or this one, which, you know, you can see these are beautiful. And it's really heavy. There's got to be over a pound of uh, wire in there. This guy's got a pound of wire in it, but I just wrapped it incorrectly. I, first, I should have made a bifiler coil out of it. Second, I should have made it smaller. Anyway, that's it.